Hello, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the previous poem that I uploaded from Pao Yuanming. Today, I'm going to update one more poem from the same poet from the same series of drinking wine, and this is the first poem of this whole series. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a proper translation of this online, so I did some translation work by myself, which is why you're gonna find this English version quite. Uh, play. I hope it's、uh, easier to be understood, so that at least I can convey the messages it contains、uh, in this poem. So let's get started. Drinking wine, number one. There is no lasting glory or decay; they alternate and coexist. Master Shao in the melon patch. How can one compare him to his old days? Winter and summer come and go, and so does humans' world. Philosophers know that this is the ultimate truth. I will also leave the world behind without second thought. Quickly offer me a cup of wine. I seize the cup of happiness from day to night. Now the original Chinese text. 饮酒，衰荣无定在。彼此耕共之，少生瓜田中，宁似东陵时。寒暑有代谢，人道美如兹。达人解其会，世将不复疑。呼与一樽酒，日夕欢相持。As the first poem of the whole series of drinking wine. This poem sets up the basic philosophy that Tao wants to deliver. If I am asked to summarize this poem with one sentence, it would be to acknowledge that change is the ultimate truth of both the nature and our human world. And once you understand this, you will be able to let go of many fixations on the ups and downs in your life. You've probably also heard of the book of I Ching, which is translated to the Book of Change, and this is a Taoist、uh, classic. So, in the first two sentences, the poet compares our world, or he used the word 人道 as opposed to 天道 This is actually a very important pair of concepts in Chinese philosophy, especially for Taoism and Confucianism. Confucianism has always been criticized from the day of its establishment as against the Tian Dao, but seeks the ultimate harmony of Ren Dao.、Uh, although Confucianists themselves would argue that Ren Dao fits with Tian Dao,、uh, Lao Tzu, for example, would argue that the more successful your Ren Dao is in the society, the weaker、uh, your Tian Dao is. So we could understand it with this poem. Human nature seeks stability and security, but change is the ultimate truth. Like how the seasons always change. So a lot of people don't get it or get obsessed with extreme order and stability, which will actually incur greater disasters and chaos. So in this poem, Tao Yuanming takes on the Taoism philosophy, and he admits that he never doubts that this. Is the ultimate truth.、Um, however, we can see in previous poems of Tao Yuanming, when he wrote those poems as a teenager, he had a very Confucianist style、um, ideal in his mind on how the social order is supposed to be, which is very natural because he lived in a time of chaos and a lot of wars. But when Tao Yuanming realizes this after his middle age,、uh, what happens after this realization? So he goes on to say, "Quickly offer me a cup of wine. I seize the cup of happiness from day to night." So when he realizes that everything is destined to change and doesn't last, the only thing we could seize is the present moment. When he had a cup of wine in hand, and this is the reason why this series of poems is called "Drinking Wine." It's not a poem dedicated to alcoholics. It is simply depicting the moments of happiness in life. In the previous video,、uh, we mentioned about how most of the truth in the universe cannot be told by language or even perceived by our human brains. So this sense of uncertainty and fragility is acknowledged and fully enjoyed. Just like this little cup of wine by Tao Yuanming, as this poem suggests. 
So hope you like this poem. Also, I'd love to hear about your opinions on this kind of philosophy. So please share them with me in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.